The family of a 10-year-old boy whose face is disfigured after he was mauled by a pit bull in 2018 wants the owner of the dog to be arrested. Dumela Mukiri was five years old at the time of the incident on a farm near Tillerson. The family claims that the owner of the dog never showed remorse nor checked on the boy's progress and no rest has been made. Dumelo Mugiri's childhood has changed since the horrific day when he was bitten by a pit bull. His disfigured face has left him traumatized. He also suffers from low self-esteem and does not play with other children for fear of being moat. His mother wants justice for the young boy and help to restore his once beautiful smile. 33-year-old Ndebuheleng Mugiri says raising Dumelo is a challenge. His life took a turn because even at school when there are trips, he doesn't want to go. But when he's at the school with the children he's used to, he gets comfortable. Kids mock him and say he's horror. He also doesn't want to go to the location or town. Mugiri is asking for help. My wish is to see my child's face okay so that he can play with other kids. I'm asking for help to anyone. Civic Group Agriculture Vulnerable Farming Community says the relevant authorities should prioritize the case. It, it is very clear that even in the new dispensation, farmers are not treating their farm workers as human beings. If those farmers, with the, 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 what you see from the child, if they are really human beings, which human being cannot be touched by a child who was five years there? Who's 10 years today? Well, what, what kind of parents, what kind of human being are they? No remorse, no nothing. They did not do, they did not even ask the mother whether the child is fine. Instead, what did they do? They, you know, constructively evicted this family from that farm so that this case must be, you know, put under the carpet. Tumelo was playing at the farm when the incident happened. The owner of the dog has never been arrested. Police say they took statements from both the mother and the alleged owner of the dog. However, the prosecutor indicated that the case was a civil matter. The alleged owner has reportedly been on the run since the incident. Eventually, the prosecutor, the investigating officer, uh, after laying this docket, uh, I think on a regional court level, it was decided that uh, J175 was issued. J175 means that you have to detect the person and uh, issue him with this sapuna, which invite the person to appear before the court. It's not an arrest, sort of a, a warrant of arrest. So during that time, it was already 2021, and then the investigating officer went to the address, the last address he obtained when he took the statement, and it was found that the farmer who is the alleged owner of this dog relocated. Last year, the family was evicted from the farm where the incident occurred. They were told that the farm has new owners. Apumelele Mklalane, SABC News, Ternison. Now we speak to Zondani Northfeld from the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. Uh, very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us. As you mentioned, the issue of Dumelo Mugiri there, he was five years old at the time of the incident. What have you gleaned at the time of the incident up until now, particularly the fact that there has been no arrests? Yes, sorry, you, 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 good evening. You are very... Soft, I, I, I couldn't hear the question. Okay, I'm hoping the, that the uh, technical team on my side will be able to boost the sound levels. Unfortunately, I can't do much about it. But I was asking, what have you gleaned from the past five years? We mentioned that the incident occurred when he was five years old and he's 10 years old now. Any new information coming out, including on why the owner of the football has not or what, there was never any attempt to arrest him? 
Yeah, the information that we have uh, received um, from, from the family and the interview or the, the discussion that we have with the police, um, the family said that uh, I think it was almost two years um, they were forced to go and consult a radio station in Welcome. It is only when the investigator who was involved in this case rushed uh, and called the, the mother to find out if the mother had a problem with the case, why the mother does not um, talk to them. You can imagine after two years when they have not visited visited the family or give information to the family. But I only received the case, I think only uh, hardly a month. And, and I investigated as to what, it, uh, what transpired. I went to the, the farmer family and, and tried to find out as to what happened, what, 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 what are they actually want to do with this, uh, this situation. And they were so arrogant. They were so arrogant to say that they don't know anything about uh, this matter. Mm. And so what steps were taken? And I'm particularly interested in how the mother survived in those first two years without any official help or any acknowledgement of the wrong that had been done. Because I understand, according to the Lord, as the owner of the dog, of the animal that would have attacked this child, which could have been a, a fatal case. Yeah, definitely it has been a very difficult situation for this family. You must also take uh, understand that this, uh, these people are, are, are not educated. They don't even understand their rights. They don't know uh, what to do up until we, we take up this matter as the Department of Agriculture to ensure that uh, justice uh, we, we must, must, must prevail. Mm. And I ask this against the backdrop of information that we're hearing that police initially said they believe this is a civil matter, not a criminal matter. Have they done an about turn on this particular point of view? I also want to understand what is happening now. Are there pressure groups that are helping the family? What is happening now? Yeah, I, 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 I don't think there's anything happening uh, presently. According to the, to the family, the child was seen by another farmer in, in nearby. And this farmer was very, very concerned to say what happened to the child. And the farmer took a phone and called the police station himself. It is only then they wanted to, you know, to, to visit the farm and then find out if the, 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 the culprit is there. The culprit is around, we are told. Is that the family is not telling the truth that the culprits, sometimes they say the, cul the culprit is in Cape Town, sometimes the culprit is overseas. Mm. But the police did not even, you know, follow, you know, those links or get addresses from the family and or force the family to tell them as to where is the culprit because they are related to the culprit. Has a case been and opened? And thing that I find that happened. Has, a, cr has a criminal case been opened? And has a warrant of arrest been issued? I, I have seen the docket. The, the criminal case has been opened against that uh, particular person. But what, what did not happen is that uh, a warrant of arrest was not uh, issued out to, to, to the culprit. Is the department assisting in any way in this regard? As far as I'm concerned, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if there's anything happening presently because I only heard over the news after this matter has been uh, exposed that uh, the matter has been given to, to another division of the police, which, which I really don't believe because I've seen a document myself last, I think it's two weeks. I was with the police, the document, the document was with the police. Okay. We understand that an organization calling itself the uh, farming community, agriculture farming community, is concerned about the treatment 
of farm workers or farm dwellers by farmers saying that they are treating in an inhumane way. As we've seen in this case, that um, there has been no attempt at all to even accept culpability, responsibility for what has happened. What about the department? Is there anything that you can do? This is something that has been a major problem in South Africa for many years now. Yes, there's a lot of incident that has taken place around the issues of the farm. I can relate a uh, number of uh, stories, very painful stories, that are taking place in, in, in our farms. There's a, there's a farm there in, uh, in ne next to Bethlehem where a farmer has shot, where a farmer has shot the employer, employee, in the presence of everybody there. There was a police who was investigating, an investigating officer. He took almost a month before he visited, uh, you know, the victim in the hospital in Bloemfontein to a point whereby I had to intervene and request the, the Bethlehem police station to replace that investigative of, investigation officer. And he was replaced. And the, 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 the other person is at least take the matter forward. And later on, uh, that farmer was charged with, 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 with murder because later on, uh, that farmer passed on. Mr. Nofeld, you were able to intervene in that case. Are you intervening in this case of the Mukiri family? Are you going to put pressure to bear on the police, as you say you were able to do in that other case? Are you going to work together with pressure groups on how to improve conditions for farm workers or farm dwellers? Yes, we, we have a division in the Department of Agriculture that is uh, deliberately open to assist all the farmers in Free State. We have five people who are dealing with these cases in, 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 in all the district. We have one guy who's working in Lizuel Putwa, and we have another one who's working in Fezile Dabi. We have another one working in, 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 uh, in Tabo Mufutsanyani, all in all our district. The MEC has ensured that he opens all these divisions to ensure that we assist the poor farm workers after we have realized that there's a lot of problems, there's a lot of atrocities that are, are committed and that are not captured, that are not known, even though that others are, are, are known, but there's not much that is done. That is why this division is, was open to ensure that uh, we assist these people. Even in this case, if it was not the Department of Agriculture, this case uh, should have not been known. It is the Department of Agriculture that is busy. Investigation is better. It's the Department of Agriculture that is making sure, ensuring that these people are going to be assisted. Those who are responsible are going to, to we are going to make sure that the police are doing their work. That farmer is going to be looked after and the farmer must come and face the music. All right. Thank you so much. For if the, even the police who, are, who, are, who have delayed this matter, we are going to ensure that uh, investigation is being done to ensure that uh, whether they have done their work or not. Mr. Nofelt, I hope that when we catch up with you in a month's time, that there will be some significant movement. Thank you so much for your time. Mr. Zondani Nofelt of the Department of Agriculture.